Hello everyone, good evening, and welcome to Omnifactory episode 12, where we're hopefully going to do nuclear things today. Um, anyways, it's a new week, it's a new month even. Happy March everyone, woohoo, we survived February, I guess, for better or worse, and uh, here we are. Alright, um, yeah, just get into the game, I guess. Let's see. Load in. I've upgraded to the uh, latest version. Uh, I haven't updated the entire pack. I've only updated prototype applied energistics um, because I saw that there was a cute little thing in it. So remember how last time I was looking for my interfaces and I couldn't find what interface it was? First of all, the interface terminal appears to have changed a bit. We can hide full interfaces. Although that doesn't that feature doesn't seem to work. It seems to just hide everything. But we can search by input product. So now if I have if I want to look for stuff with circuits, bam. Search for circuits, it highlights it uh it searches by input as opposed to by output, which is nice. So this is by output search, this is by input search, I presume. But here's a really big thing. You hit that question mark and it prints where your search or where your interface is. And it blinks it in the world, so now it's like, oh yeah, you know, this is the inter this is the interface that that we need to like do something to. Well, now we can come over here and do the thing to it. So it is amazing. Uh, let's use it right now to find this interface that probably should be set to hidden. Found you. You are now hidden. So yeah, that is absolutely wonderful. Prototype, you are a genius. And and your version of Finder and Just Six Rocks. I adore it. Alright, so um with that uh little thing out of the way, let's get into Well, let's do our usual thing. Let's check up on what we made last time. So our nuclear reactor is running in spurts as it should be. It runs in spurts to meet demand, right? It keeps its internal buffer. It tries to keep its internal buffer 50-ish percent full. When it dips below, it runs for a spurt and then shuts off again. So how much fuel have we gone through? Wow, we've gone through almost 1,200 fuel pellets since, uh, since last stream. And I am out of food. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. So today, I would like to make the bigger nuclear reactor. I think, uh, here, this is, a, this is the reactor I want to make today. As you can see here, it uses 60 coolers. Uh, do you see my cursor, actually? You probably don't see my cursor, do you? Uh, alright, whatever. If I put my cursor here, can I get clever with the pointing? No, I can't. Alright, well... It use, uh, you, you just have to read it for yourself. It uses 60 cryothium coolers, 633 graphite um, graphite moderators, 693 fuel cells, and 758 casings. So uh, that's a lot of stuff. We'll, we'll work on that as we go today, but I hope we have enough materials for that. Um... The other thing we set up last video was ore processing. So I hope that this is through all the ores. The fact that that's empty is good. It is through all of this. I just want to sanity check, make sure these chests are empty. Good. Empty? Empty? Okay, empty except for tiny dusts. So that's fine. Empty. And empty. All right, that is very good news, which be should mean that all of our dusts are processed. Subarashi. So many dusts. Um, okay, so then how full are our drives? I was a little worried it would fill up our drives, but no, our we, we have a lot of we have a lot of drive space. Yeah, we have tons of drive space left. Okay, so not worried about that. Lastly, we kicked off a bunch of micro miner missions at the very end of the stream. So I just want to check, how, are there any of these we forgot to process? Cassiterite, Uraninite, oh, I guess there are two different Cassiterites. 
just those two didn't get added to the list. Let's go add them right now. Uh, I haven't, yeah, we're not processing the iron yet just because it's still dense iron ore and we have to de-densify it before, you know, you can use it for anything. So anyways, those will get thrown into ore processing. Once these start processing, like ore processing uses so much energy. Why are some of these still overclocking disabled? I thought I enabled overclocking on these. I guess not. Well, here, let's leave them disabled for now because we're going to need the power elsewhere in the base while we're doing stuff. We'll leave half of them overclocking disabled. Um, cool. So, first thing I want to do is I want to check Certus. How much Certus dust do we have? Plenty. Good. Because I want to make those coprocessors. I think last stream we made four of these 64k storages. How many coprocessors go with each again? One, two, three, four, seven. So seven times four is 28. I think we couldn't craft these last time on account of not having enough Certus dust. But now we do. Hello, King Ants. Um, so that'll provide us with Certus, or with uh, crafting CPUs. And then I guess the next thing is just to make that nuclear reactor. No, no, no. I'm out of central... I'm out of central processing units. So we need to automate the production of CPUs of all flavors. All right, so this will probably take it a couple minutes. Well, that works. Let's look at the... How we want to do the laser engraving stuff so we are taking glowstone dope silicon wafers and we have to laser engrave i think all four variants of them so integrated circuits power integrated circuits these are used somewhere yeah we, we can't just not make them so we need four laser engravers, at least HV. Let's make them all EV. Oh, we might not need integrated circuits. Let's double check that one. Integrated circuits are only for... Yeah, okay, we can skip integrated circuits. Cool. Um, in that case, let's get three laser engravers at EV. What is it? What is the uh, tier of engraver required to etch the next tier wafer? If we do, if we use, um, if we use EV laser engravers, we can just upgrade them to. Uh, we can just upgrade them to Naquada dope wafers when we get access to them. So let's do that. build a little bit of scalability into our system. Are those the right circuits even? They are. Perfect. And do we know EV emitters yet? Looks like we do. Okay. Cool. So with that, we can now request um Let's actually take a look. How many different inscribers will we need? So we do not need integrated circuit. We need power, RAM. Sock will come later, but let's leave room for it. So three, CPU four, ASOC five, but this is also later. So we need room for five, but we need three right now. Let's just make all five. Uh, okay, let's not make all five. Let's make a few by hand. CPU wafer. How do we make regular CPU wafers? Silicon wafer with glass lens. Do I have any just sitting in here? I don't. Do I have any just sitting in here? I don't. This is only MV, right? So I have to etch the normal one. Ugh. All right, make, can we make three right now? I'll, I'll add the last two later. I promise. No? Okay. Fine. If you have plutonium, you can do package auto. Uh, we'll get around to that. I don't, 
I, I want to take things in bite-sized chunks right now. Um, and setting up this type of wafer pro or uh, yeah, wafer etching is something we're, we're going to have to do sooner or later. Like we're never going to be able to just skip using wafer etching and do it all by hand. So yeah, you know, we'll, we'll just get it out of the way now and then get back to other more fun and exciting things later. All right, give me three, please. Thank you. Oh boy, that's also a lot of steps. It looks like you did finish your um, co-processors. Let's build these out. So I think I'm just gonna build them literally on top of these. Something like this. How is I getting the what do you, what are those the wafers? I, I just batch crafted them in ginormous batches. The last batch I made back in HV has been enough to tide me over to now. But now we use them in greater quantity than I wish to batch craft with. Okay, so wait, why are you still making the what? What's using microprocessor arrays? Some component in here. Let's figure out what component is using microprocessor array. This is when this search, input search, comes in handy. Um, you are okay. Uh, cancel. But it's already it's already started, so the ingredients are already in the machine. All right, so this instead of using microprocessor arrays, should be using nanoprocessors. Bam! Upgrade. Uh, what assembler did that go in? It went in the assembler. No, this is just a crafter. So I can go anywhere. All right. Um, as a result of that, was that why you needed so many? Can I request a four of these now? Yeah, okay. That probably is why it was using so many uh, CPUs. Because this thing uses nano CPUs, which are easy or which i think we get more nano cpus per board or something like that i don't i don't remember the exact details but it works yeah it works now it's going to make the nano cpus instead of trying to craft the uh, other processor cool let's go give ourselves some space to build it so i guess we'll build it out i want to leave some space on this side for blast furnace expansion so i guess we build it out here expand this wire by a bit can't imagine ever you see a bar of silicon making wafers yeah the, well the ratio of silicon to wafers is extremely good just because like you make the bool and then you cut the bool and then you get to cut the thing into like multiple bits a whole bunch of times and plus when it comes to silicon we are literally swimming in it so Silicon supply is one of those things that is never a problem. All right, so I need an interface to provide materials that'll jam stuff into four laser engravers, or five, when these are done. We'll start with this start with one I think we'll even lay them out vertically so you're gonna need more of this two three four five just to sanity check this again what are the five let me pin the five types of lenses we need 
All right, so we don't need integrated circuit. We need blue, diamond, another star, glass, and draconium. If you were to ask uh, the one probe, all of these machines have draconium lenses in. Oh, wait. No, that's a Greg Tech item. I think, yeah, see, we've got a draconium lens in there already. Perfect. So these, let's get the lenses then. I guess we can just steal some of the lenses from here. Where are they? Red, uh, we don't need red. Diamond, blue. I'll make another glass lens because the current glass lens is in use. Um, I'll make another star for, nope, I won't make it. We don't have luminescence. I'm all out of luminescence. Why am I all out of luminescence? What here makes luminescence? This thing. No, ph phosphor. Oh, I'm probably out of phosphor. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's fix that real quick, too. And we'll make our another star later, I guess. I think this is how we make uh, glass lines, yeah? Man asks, wasn't able to catch your last stream, but wanted to ask if, if you keep a stock of inner, wait, if you have a keep in stock interface for a stack of interfaces or wires, I, most of those things I just craft on demand, so no. They generally speaking craft fast enough that I'm willing to craft them on demand. All right, glass, blue. this and then the last two I'll, I'll leave them off because we don't even need them until we have naquata bulls anyways all right so anyways the reason we don't have phosphor is because we don't have appetite the reason we don't have appetite is because the ore it comes from is one of the missions i just don't do yet phosphor appetite quartzite so instead let's just buy some for now it's like, it's five bucks for 32. So, cheap enough. And then add it to our ore processing list. Uh, buy me a lot more. 3,000's enough, right? That'll do. Thank you for putting lenses in the right slot. I get a little annoyed in these, like, there's a little picture for it, right? But when you click it in, it gets put in the first slot. Likewise, in assemblers, uh, let's see if we can find an assembler. I get a little annoyed that the, come on. That, that's not an assembler. That, there's like a little circuit slot, but the circuit doesn't by default go into the circuit slot. I can't find an assembler. I'm pr I think I'm pretty good about putting the circuit into the circuit slot though when I have passively running assemblers. If we could find one to test, that'd be swell. Yeah, here. So like the circuit, it can technically go in any slot, but there's this little picture here. It's like the circuit goes in the circuit slot. Yeah. All right. Um now we just need to take i'm not too worried about the appetite processing slowly we don't need it for a long time it's one of those as long as it's in the line somewhere it'll get done all right let's drop our wafers in here distribute that to these Uh, I guess we'll make you round robin. Copy. Paste. The top two will fill completely with wafers, and that's fine. So this... Each one of these etches them. Some of these wafers have to be used differently. 
So why don't we store each of them into a drawer? Like so. Auto output. Why are you not? Why are you not round robining? Extract round robin always. Why are you not getting input? Oh! Jimmy, you still have to plug it in. This still hasn't changed. There we go. Come on. You figured it out, Jimmy. Good job. Lock these. And we'll put a controller, I don't know, here. Um, I guess we'll run our wire up and over. Up and at them. Direct tech energy conduits, please. Give me a hundred more for later. And a storage bus for that. All right. So this is making wafers. Apparently these wafers are being used somewhere else already. I think I have a thing that's automatically turning RAM wafers into nano wafers. Is that true? Where are my nano wafers? Nowhere. Sometimes I forget what I've built and what I haven't built. The fact that they're being ingested somewhere means they're being used. I swear it'd be around, right around here somewhere. No, this is all rocket fuel. Um, what about... Hmm. Yeah, where would these be stored? Like, if they're if they're not searching in world, that means they're in digital storage. Here, I, I have an idea. What makes these raw carbon fibers? Like, we just have to find our we just have to find our raw carbon fiber producer, and we will find them. It's like right over here somewhere, maybe, maybe not. Here it is. Okay. So yeah, this thing is automatically making nano CPU wafers up to an entire drawer full of them, apparently. Yeah, well, I suppose whatever floats your boat. If it works, it works. Okay, so that's nano CPU wafers. Now, we're getting to the point where we need the next tier, though. And those are qubit CPU wafers. So I think, how much indium, none. Get, we have plenty of gallium and some phosphor, which can be processed into phosphorus if we want. And we don't need those yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think those are needed for the next circuit. But we don't, strictly speaking, need the uh, need the quantum circuit yet, right? But I think that's the first thing that uses a qubit CPU. Yeah, once we get into the quantum era, we need it. But we're not quantum yet, so I will ignore that and then just let these things do their thing. Cool. Uh, let's get back to nuclear then. So this reactor here, as it is, produces 200,000-ish RF a tick when running, just a hair over 200,000. The one I am proposing, the one that we saw a brief screenshot of, produces... How much of it was it again? 
2.25 million RF attack. So 2.25 million, let's start ordering components and see what we run into. Um, so let's put this up just so I can reference a list of materials we need. Get that a little out of the way. All right, cooler times 60. No issues here, very good. I just want to take a quick scan to see what interesting things it does. It uses all of my hammers to make cauldrons. Uh, besides that, you know what? Let's even let's just get an uh, get an assembler to make cauldrons out of. It's not that difficult to do, Jimmy. Bite the bullet, make the thing. It's time we started doing things right. I, I'm pretty sure that's the only the only thing that uses this circuit, circuit 7. Yeah, literally the only use for circuit 7. Uh, what I made an HV one, right? Give me a circuit. Put you on seven you'll be done soon <laughs> why did i make it hv we're not going to expand these anymore i think but we can put it here all right Technically, this doesn't have to only process. Oh, I should have grabbed the recipe while I was at it. Let's plug it in while we're here. Um, technically, this doesn't have to only process circuits. It can process, or cauldrons. It can process anything that doesn't use a circuit as well. So it's not like a, a one-job machine, but it's kind of close to a one-job machine. All right, let's go get our cauldron recipe. Turn you into a processing recipe. Get rid of the hammer. Okay, let's get these coolers again. So 60 coolers. Go. What in the HV assembler make, uses hammers? I don't know. Something. Oh, small gears. Whatever. Um, auto output not set. Thank you. I always forget something. It's you forget to plug it in, forget to configure it. Who knows what I forget? But it's always something. Cool. So those are the coolers. Uh, with the coolers done, what's the next bit? Moderators, graphite. Is this enough graphite? Yeah, we'll find, we're gonna find out. 633, that's not. What does graphite produce when you process it? Carbon? All right, we're gonna do this thing. Uh, that. And then graphite ore, when smelted, produces graphite ingot. Graphite ingot, when macerated, produces graphite dust. Wait, I don't need the dust. I like how this remembers a search now. That's nice. Multi-smelter. Is my multi-smelter full? Not yet. Did I already add this recipe? Also not yet. Now I should be able to order 633 of these if we had 500 Omni pennies. Maybe 
It's time for the Omnicoin Drawer of Doom. You can live right here, Omnicoin Drawer of Doom. Um, so I think it's if we put quarters in here. Nope, not what I want. Can I tell it to put quarters in this slot? No. I want to compact pennies. Yeah. This variant. And let the compacting drawer take care of my Omni coins for me. And in fact, instead of putting it here, we'll just put it. Where is this drawer wall? We'll add it to one of our existing drawer walls that is completely unrelated to. All right, and then now all of our Omni coins show up as all the types. So we have we don't have all of these put together, but we have 2,200 pennies or 400 nickels or 89 quarters. I've, I'm pretty sure that's how math works. Someone correct me if that's wrong. All right, give me the graphite again. 633. All right, there goes $9. Goodbye, $9. Next up, we have fuel cells. Fuel, what are they called? Reactor cell. Here we go. 693. Bronze plate, and that's the only thing you don't know how to craft. Very good. Bronze. Do you even know how to make bronze? Here, let's hide you briefly. I think bronze plate is most easy. Well, bronze ingots. Here, let's just test this. Oh, you do know how to make bronze. How am I making bronze in an alloy smelter? That seems very silly. Don't do that, Jimmy. Make bronze dust. And then smelt bronze dust. And then make bronze block. And then cut uh, Greg Tech bronze block. Just want to make sure we're using the right bronze block. Greg Tech bronze, perfect. All right, so I need cut, smelt, and assemblers. Now, does this thing also remember where you left off? It doesn't. I was hoping to remember how far you had scrolled down the list and come back to right there. That'll make my method of laying recipes out vertically as opposed to horizontally a little bit easier to use. All right, black bronze. So that's bronze. Um, does that mean that we can now re re request our cells? What was it 693? 693. This will probably take it a while because it's making a lot of stuff in alloy smelters, but it is using parallel alloy smelters, so. Who knows? Have at it. Estimate says three minutes. I can guarantee you that's a lie. But it's using like four alloy Eight? It's using eight alloy smelters at a time. But you know, could be worse. All right. Um, next up, we have casings. 700 and 58. Well, let's make the controller first, because I think the controller uses casings. One controller. And, all right, so I have 59. I need 758. Oh, good. They give me very easy math. 699 casings. Oh, boy. 1,400 tungsten. I mean, besides that, nothing's very expensive. 
1400 tungsten, 240 tungsten steel. Fire. Yeah, I've, I've still got plenty of tungsten and tungsten steel left. Um, did I process all my tungsten dust? It looks like I did. I have no tongue state. I have no she light. Looks like, yeah, it's all processed. All right. We're probably going to have to run more micro miners for that then, but we'll do that probably at the end of the day because that's one of those things that locks up enough critical pieces of the processing of our processing lines that I don't want them running while we're doing other stuff. So this will probably take it, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes to do all the crafting. Um, during this time, what do we wish to do? Let's take a look at the quests. Oh boy, we have completed quests in every chapter. All right, let's get our Omni coins real quick then. I mean, why not, right? I guess it's just like one or two quests in every chapter. Um, maybe we pick up stuff to complete these recipes. <laughs> Or to complete these quests. I've done all these things. This item has never been in my inventory. And thus we haven't completed the quest. Oh yeah, can we remove the reactor plant? My bad. Well, I can't... Some of these I can't get in my inventory right now because the machines that make it is very much in use. Oh, we've unlocked parts of the late game tab. We're in the late game now, folks. Go away, Omni Coins. Hello, Ricky J. Good evening. Um. Okay, so what do we actually do then? Uh, I guess we could work towards the next tier of Micro Miner. Tier three, Micro Miner tungsten carbide plated. There's nothing here we can't do, right? Let's uh, give it a shot. See if we run into any bottlenecks. So, two guidance systems. I think the tier three one isn't even a very important micro miner, if memory serves me right. Where are you? Tier three. At least not for now. But I think it might it is we need exquisite emeralds eventually. So it's that one it's not what we're gonna run a lot of missions of, but it is one we're gonna have to do sooner or later. And it makes sense to progress in order. So even if we don't need it right this moment, it's not a bad thing to have. Alright. Did I request the guidance systems? Yes. Oh, are you gate are you behind something you're behind all of these steel platings <laughs> got it um tungsten carbide heavy plate am i i do these by the stack i guess Bronson says he submitted the feature request for interface terminal button to jump to next free molecular assembler space. Ooh, that's one way to do it. I I support this. Is there a new interface terminal? Yep. Prototypes Applied to Logistics has added a few features to the interface terminal. Uh, if you look back on the VOD, I go over them a bit already. I don't want to repeat myself too much. We have field generator MV. Yep, four of these. What? Why are one, two, three, four? Where are my other? Jimmy, you still have to plug it in. As much as you hate plugging things in, Jimmy, you have you have to get you have to get used to it at some point. These things aren't gonna plug themselves in. All right. Now we have more crafting CPUs. There we go. Um, three titanium chests.
Bam. Where space? Three of these, easy. Reinforced. Is this the next tier of mining laser? Oof. Tier three circuit. Okay, so we need to solidify argon. While we're at it, perhaps we solidify all of our noble gases. So we produce all of the noble gases here. Um, and of these, I believe like, argon is the only one that, or let's double check, is, does anything use neon as a gas? Nope. Does anything use helium as a gas? Yes, but anything that uses helium as a gas will use way more than we produce out of this thing. We're going to need a more, less awful helium source, and that'll be endstone distillation. So we can we can afford to solidify all of this. Uh, Krypton, I assume nothing uses Krypton, right? I don't recall anything using Krypton gas. Oh, this does use Krypton. This is for the tier nine micro miner. Hmm. Why don't we just solidify for like five hundred ingots of each of these? Uh, this is EV. So let's just, yeah, let's just get a tower of EV fluid solidifiers. Put them like right here. All right, so that was, it was four. Wait, was it four or was it five different ones? Five. And they need to be EV fluid solidifiers. Nice easy recipe. Last recipe slot there too. All right, and then we need, oh, we need their molds too. So were they ball molds for? All the solidified stuff, yeah, is a ball mode. Mold. One, two, three, four, five. You gonna finish crafting today? I'm so impatient. I w Maybe it's worth putting effort into passiving some of the circuits. Uh, even like the nano, we get. ASOX for these eventually, right? My original plan was we can passive craft them once we get socks and ASOX. Oh, even these are just made with socks. Uh, what, what do we need to make socks? We need a quota. I mean, that's not that impossible. It's what, tier 5 micro miner? Tier 5. Oh, and plutonium. Okay. Well, not impossible. It is... There, there are a few steps left. We can't just make it magically appear. Um, so how is this going to work? We're going to... Use these drawers. Eh, let's use standard drawers. While it is convenient that these naturally just hold 500 pieces, um... I think if we, if we use standard drawers, we can uh, more fine-tune the limit we want. So, storage downgrade. Let's add these recipes. Basically, you downgrade them into a single stack inventory, and then you add as many upgrades as you feel like having. So that turns them into single slots. Do we even have these encoded? We don't have void encoded yet, may as well add that. And if I want five stacks, I guess we use increase the storage two, four times. So this, I believe if you do 
one of these plus one of these, you get to five stacks. At least we get close enough to five stacks. I don't think it adds the number together, right? Because this increases storage to two times base value. So that... Uh, I think this adds one stack to the storage. And this adds three stacks to the storage. It doesn't actually... It's not a times four. It's a plus three. Right? And this is a plus one. So you start at one. I think we'll find out. I could be wrong. I mean, if it if it turns out to be six stacks, I will I'll I'll suck it up and live with it. That is within acceptable margins. But I would like for it to turn out exactly at five stacks. That would just be nice. All right, we can put them, I guess, here. So we're going to have to plug them in. I'll do that later. And by that, I mean I'll forget to plug them in later. Oh, come on. Don't take all of them. And, oh yeah, I grabbed void upgrades, not downgrade upgrades. Void upgrades will go very bad there. Alright, so if we put a downgrade, an upgrade, whoopsies, and an upgrade, and take out the extra upgrade, it holds six stacks. Okay, you're right. Whatever, six stacks it is. I'll live with six stacks. If it turns out we want more, we can get more. And then fluids. Let's do this. Brown, blue, purple, cyan, light gray. Brown. Oh, it holds another I guess the downside is it holds another stack in here and another stack in here. Well, fine by me, I guess. I'll have to deal with it. I didn't set light gray to extract. It appears I did not. Brown, blue, purple, cyan, light gray cool now for power let's start by rerouting this we'll just go all the way over it come on stop putting it where i don't want you to go be gone be gone Uh, this is what, end stone? End steel cable? Do we use more argon than the other ones? Oh, well, yeah. I'd specifically set this up right now to make argon, huh? And we have boatloads of argon. All right, which one of these is argon? We will just let you do all 2,000 stacks then. All right, outputs. Um, auto output, there's so much configuration clicking. And then easier to let the drawers fill themselves and for me to fill them. We need a controller, out of drawer controllers. 
Make me some drawer controllers. Make me some drawer controllers faster. Thank you. And a storage bus. All right, so yeah, that'll solidify our noble gases. Um, right now, we only needed the argon, but we'll we'll solidify all of them. For reinforced mining lasers, how many item types? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, noticeably less than nine. Which is what I want to see right now. That doesn't work. Uh, two blocks of redstone. Mining laser. Let's pin that real quick. Two blocks of redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Glass. Four argon. Two blocks of quartz, two quartz. I don't know why I'm not storing quartz in a compacting drawer, but I'm not. And a basic capacitor bank, two nano circuits. All right, how many recipes is this going to be? One. Two. Which one do we use? This one? No reason not to use the efficient one, I guess. Three. Do you have tin wire yet? Four. Is there an assembler recipe to make these? No? No assembler. Unless you're talking about another one of these components. Let me double check. I mean, there's no way these are made. Yeah, I don't think there's an assembler recipe available for any of this. And these three are all in the molecular assembler. And I think there's also this. Five. Okay, only five recipes. Could have been worse. Alright, I don't want to put that item in my inventory, because if I do, I'll charge it and give it MBT data. And I don't want MBT data on it. So, this makes a reinforced mining laser. Seven. Is that the right number of items? 2, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 25 minus 3 is 22. Perfect. Quick sanity check just to make sure we're at least ballpark. So if I order two of these, what tier is this? This is a laser for tier three and four, I believe. Yeah, it's a laser for tier three and four, and they are used to make even higher tier ones. To make tier five, six. They're used in the five and sixes. Oh, and this, they're, they're just using everything from now on. Sevens and eights. They're used a lot. We're toggling the full... The, to, the toggle full scenes are not work right now. It hides everything. Including ones that have nothing in them. 
which these are probably are ones that I forgot to turn off, but toggle full hides everything. So <laughs> clearly not a useful feature yet. Um, I guess I do have to put them in my inventory. What is my capacitor set to? If it's only set to toggle hand or charge hand or charge hotbar, I guess we're okay. I want charge equipment, I guess. That way it won't charge this stuff. All right. Did I quick sanity check? Did I ever start crafting the casings? Yeah, looks like I did. Okay. Um, so there's 650 tough alloy there. This one, it's almost instant. Type something onto the search bar first. Uh, plate. No, it looks like it's still emptying everything out. Hello, prototype trousers. If anyone wants to thank the guy that, that makes all these applied energistics enhancements, he's your man. Or, or woman. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to presume. But thank you very much for your enhancements. It saves me a lot of sanity. Unless, does it only work if I search on the input? Nope. That still hides everything. All right, do I have all the components for this now? Two guidance systems, one, two, how many platings? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 plating. Tungsten carbide plates. Tungsten. Carbide blocks. And. Plates. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. J just the enhancements that work, I am very happy to have. So that one particular feature being broken, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shed a tear over. Although I do look forward to when it is fixed. Cutting carbide plates takes forever. Is it? Let's take a look. Is this a is this a rare case where it's better to make them a different way? I mean, ten seconds at LV. My cutting machine is MV. Or no, 20 seconds at LV, so it's 10, it's less than 10 seconds, so it's like less than a second a plate. It is faster to cut than it is to compress still. Oh, IRL, yes. Cutting temps and carbide IRL, especially if it's been, uh, like, uh, heat treated, I believe is, is borderline impossible. You, you need di diamond tip tools to do so. All right, um, plating. Let's try requesting these again. Catching up to stream on 2x speed and coming to live 1x stream, we talk so slow. Well, hold on, let me just start talking. Oh my gosh, I can't talk that quickly. My, my mouth doesn't work that fast. All right, so I have to cut the compress. That'll take it a little while. Uh, two fuel generators. Oh, I made four. Wait. Yeah, I made extras. Whoops. Three chests. Two microminer engine cores. These are... The doubts... Oh, hold on. These are a good option to put in the parallelist. Uh... Alloy smelters. Are they not? Just the type of recipe that benefits from being run in parallel. 
Let's just double check, make sure I used at least HV alloy smelters here. Advanced alloy smelter 2, is that HV? I mean, I can just look at what's powering it, I guess. Yep, that is. All right, it is, it, it's gonna go in queue. I mean, I guess they're, because it's on blocking mode, they're technically speaking is not a strict queue, right? It could slip in anywhere. Because the uh, the alloy smelters don't get latched because they're not in blocking mode. So I, I don't actually know how Applied Energistics chooses which recipe to send next. When issuing a crafting request, do you get to send priorities? No, you don't. Okay. A prototype if you're still here. Can I ask for priorities on crafting requests? That's probably a bit much. I'm sure that that's a uh, significantly non-trivial. So that's in queue. We'll get back to it. Um, a turbo. Oh, did I skip the? I skipped the diesel. We need a HV diesel. Needs one of these circuits. And probably it. I think everything else in there we could already make. stainless gear all right i think it's time we switched over to making gears in the compactor i have it literally right here stainless steel gear yeah it's once we put this in the compactor uh i don't know how many more slots it has but we can upgrade it to Signalum and it'll be faster than our current compactor. Find it for me, please. Thank you very much. Damn. How fast are you now? 1600? And I guess one more augment slot. 2400. All right, now can we make the diesel generator? Here, some of these things get on my inventory. Good enough. One of these, very good. What are you queued behind? You can't possibly be queued behind anything. Oh, my compressors are too low tier for this. My compressors are MV compressors and they can't process tongues and carbide plate. Rip MV compressors. All right, uh, well, if we're upgrading one side, we may as well upgrade the other side. So let's just go all the way up to EV. We'll have to get back to you. Let's see. Uh, this. As well as, again, if we're doing one, we may as well do both. Do the wire mills. Unfortunately, my molecular assemblers set aside, or is, I, I can just add another one, I guess. Add another two. What's it called? Molecular assembler circuit in parentheses. Mm. 
We. Those only need a singular interface or a single molecular assembler for the interface is fine because they do things that we don't craft in huge quantity. All right, give me eight of these and advanced wire mill two. Eight of those. That'll take it a hot minute. Uh, while we're at it, say check the voltage on our mic microwave, microverse, microwave. It has to be at least EV. Mine probably is not yet. What you at? You at HV. Give me... Can I just put this one here? This is HV wire, so yes, I can. Now it's an EV microwave. I think one of your recipes for the wire mill still wants hammers. Yeah, probably. I think it's a small gear. Anything that uses pistons is using small gears. I guess if we're... All right, fine. Let's, let's swap all of our small gears over. What's the best way to do them? They're one ingot each in an alloy smelter, but it's a 16 EU per tick. They're one ingot each in an extruder, and they're very fast in a fluid solidifier. Too many options. Hello, Cryo. Do they all have these three options? Given these options, Extruder is straight out, right? Extruder is like seven orders of magnitude worse. It gets the benefit of good overclocking, though. Melting and so I guess we just. I guess we just alloy smelter it. It's. Four seconds at LV, two seconds at HV. Yeah, let, let's just grab like a, a very high tier alloy smelter and we'll do it at EV and, and, and say screw the bad overclocking behavior because it's going to take like half a second per year. Am I still using tool recipes? In some places, yes. We are in the process of phasing it out. Let's see, I need the small gear, this one. And read my alloy smelter, please. I guess it's also in queue behind everything else. We will prepare its space. Look at that, I plugged it in. Circuits. Circuits. Uh, what else do we need to craft then? We're going to need to craft CEFs here. Are these MV? Yeah. Why am I using three CEFs to power... What? Why am I using three CEFs to power 16 machines? Uh, where is my... Here it is. I need cable. And... I guess that's it. We just have to swap everything out when it's done crafting. When it's done crafting. The small gear, it's going to use two interfaces eventually, may as well give it. The second interface now, you bring up a good point. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? 
Why are you taking so long? What's your matter? Are you out of fluid? No? Oh, you were probably covering something else. All right, I accept. Where's my alloy smelter? Uh, plug that in as well. Auto output. Are we good? Now we just have to drop in all the recipes. Wait, why doesn't that search find me all my small gears? Oh, the small something gear. <laughs> I see. Are those all the small gears? Where are the rest of the small gears? I have to add the mold. True. True. I feel like I'm missing some. But no, apparently those are all the small gears we make so far. Aluminum, titanium, steel, tungsten steel. Does something use stainless? Yeah? Where is it? Oh, right here. Alright. Sanity chat. There is no small gears in here. No small gears anywhere else. Okay. I buy it. So we have to switch these over to... This, it's made from, it's, it is made from an ingot, right? Yeah. That. This. Click a thon. All right, and then they go in their new home. I guess we can sort them. Steel. Steel, aluminum, stainless, titanium, tungsten steel. That's the order, I think. All right. Uh, what was that for? That was for the diesel? No, we've already made the diesel. Oh no, that was just because I had recipes using that. Oh, all of our crafting's done, by the way. So that should mean that my um, compressors and wire mills are done. Let's swap all of this out. Let's also temporarily put this in here. That's taking up a lot of inventory space. All right. It is a set of machines, right? Wire mills and compressors, yeah. Who wants to see a fire? Actually, I don't want to burn my machines because they have robot arms on them. If it if it wouldn't burn the robot arms, I would I would just burn the machines. All right, compressors go on this side. All 
We don't have to rotate the front face, right? Compressors get swapped out the most of all the machines. Because every tier of micro minor plating requires a higher tier compressor. I love using drills on machines. Nothing like screw you to having to wrench your machines. All right, let's get those robot arms in place. This is where the lack of a robot arm copy paste tool sucks, but we deal with it. I guess pretty soon we just replace this system with a uh, with an actual processing array as opposed to my poverty crafting array or processing array, which simplifies the entire process considerably. Where's my screwdriver? Import supply exact two there. for the rope or for the wire mills does it really matter for the compressors it matters a bit more it's actually conceivable the robot the MV robot arm I'm using on supply exact two might be too slow. Considering these are EV wire mills. Go up to four. It, it by and large doesn't matter. EV wire mills are fast. These have to be on supply exact too. Also, these all have to be switched to import, don't you? Don't they? Wait, did I switch them? Oh, I did switch them. Look at that. I'm subconsciously hitting the right button without even realizing it. Cool. Or do they def- no, they don't even default to import. And... Done. Now just the wires. EVCF, EV machines, EV cables. No fire, please. No fire, please. No fire, yay. All right. This should now allow us to actually make these. That gets sent to here. Oh, and I still have to set auto output. Hold on, did it auto? Did it auto auto? Oh, no, I don't have to set auto output. Never mind. We're extracting from conduits. Derp. Cool, we're good. Yep, and that's making our plates. All right, put this stuff away then. Um, I, was it 15 of these? Let's get this stuff back. Dun, dun, dun. Two engine cores. And all that's left is, oh, and uh, <laughs> we need the crafting table. We do the crafting table and the thruster. Let's do the thruster first. Which one was this? This one? That thruster doesn't look too bad. Reactant dynamo. Fancy. Um, do I have more patterns? What type of plate is this? Don't have energetic alloy plates. Do we have energetic alloy blocks? Nope. So this is one of those things where 
there's two types of energetic alloy block. There's the Greg Tech one and the Ender Isle one. If you just import this recipe, it'll import using the Greg Tech block and get confused. So make sure you tell it to use the Ender Isle block. Cutting machine and crafting. Those two blocks look the same. I just want to make sure I didn't put the same recipe in twice. Three of these, please. Thank you. Beautiful. Now for the crafting table. All right, we can duplicate these tables in this pack, can't we? More packs need this feature. That's probably enough. And by probably, I mean that's definitely enough. Four blocks of aluminum, eight black steel plates. Four blocks of aluminum. Eight black steel plates. Do I need a blast furnace? This? I do. A good candidate for something to automate. Actually, we probably don't straight up don't have enough black steel plates to make all this. Um. Hello, blast furnace. Are you free? You are. Let's close you off. Add black steel dust to that. Uh, you extract on blue, you insert that on brown and start blasting. Oh, you are fast. <laughs> Good. Thousand? Thousand seems like a good number. Yeah. All right. Well, that's crazy fast. So, hello, badass gamers. I hope you are well today. And then elite components and catalysts. How many? Four catalysts, eight components. Make the catalyst for forced. Make the catalysts forced first because they use components. I think it's Lumium that uses this. All right. We appear to have a problem. Appetite dust goes in to here. What is? It? How much appetite dust do I need to make one of this? Nine to make three buckets of it. And this smelts into five. Okay. We will do this. As a temporary stopgap, we will add Bam, that recipe in the multi smelter, my last slot, as well as. I assume you macerate very quickly. Yeah, you pulverize very, very, very quickly. As well as this recipe.
Do I not have... I guess I only have a single base raider. It's gonna be a little bit slower than I expected. Um... What about backup plan then? Where is this machine? It's... You that needs it? Alright. 10,000? Can we do that? Yeah, that's very fast. If I get a... Just give you a dedicated HV Macerator. Put you into here. And then you want appetite dust on brown. So like that. Hello to India. What time is it there, isn't it? Pretty early in the morning? No, it's like midday, right? India time and East Asia time are kind of close. I kind of know, like have a sense of East Asia time because I have family in East Asia. 8 a.m. So it's morning, but not not super early morning. All right. Well, glad to see I'm worldwide. <laughs> cool. So now this is making uh, that stuff, but we're so far in the hole. Why don't we temporarily, just for now, find where I am making this? No, not that. Where is my interface that provides this? And we're going to take luminescence off of here so I can get some in my storage. And I'm going to put a sign here to remember to put luminescence. Put luminescence back. And we're going to mark it with some of our 69,000 diamonds. with a giant sign so that I remember it exists. What time is it here? It is currently 7.28 p.m. So, early evening, I suppose, one could call it. All right, so now we have luminescence. Good, uh, so it's four elite catalysts and eight elite components and i guess we may as well make that another star while we're at it for the lens we're just here let's make like a handful of nether stars actually with that done i can i can just add luminescence back right now can't i i don't think i need anything that consumes luminescence for a little bit Uh, let's let it get up to a stack so I can put a whole stack into the interface. Wait, is it 857 for you? Does that mean that India has half time zones? My time isn't just half an hour off, is it? I didn't know that India had half time zones. Do I play sports? Oh boy. I... I... I don't. I am incredibly out of shape. <laughs> Alright, four of these. Eight of these, and... A crafting table. Wait, India even has quarter time zones? Dude, that blows my mind. 
I didn't even know quarter time zones existed. That is frightening. Not like in a bad way, just in a wow, the world is weird kind of way. Oopsies. Thruster. Sure, we may, may as well duplicate this one. We're gonna need more than one. That's probably enough. That's definitely enough. All right, is this all the stuff? No, I'm still missing the lasers. I'm firing up my laser. All right, that should be all the bits. Oopsies. Quick sanity check. Yep, it took all the items from my inventory, so I had just the right quantity. Nepal and parts of Australia have 45. Wait, so Australia also has what? Wow. Okay. What are the under chests for? These used to be my um these used to be my pulsating polymer clay under chests. They are now nothing. I just still had them on the ground for some reason. Um, Alright, so this recipe is good. This makes the thing. And let's just start by ordering 16 of them. We won't, no, we won't order 16 of them. Silver rod central processing unit. Okay. This, it's just because I haven't taught you how to cut that yet. Um, how do I do my cutting machines? I, I do them singles, right? Yeah. And then silver rods. Are lathed. That. Ah. Are lathed. All right. Package extended crafting mod makes it so you can share. Share what the crafting tables? I've never used package extended crafting. I I know it, it makes it makes using the or it makes automating the extended crafting tables a lot less painful than the uh, automation interface that ships with it. But I haven't. I've never used package extended crafting. I look forward to it though. I hear it's much, much, much better than the shipped in than the shipped interface that comes with the mod. All right, sixteen. Good, twenty five thousand bytes. That's not too bad. Um, I just I I like to look at these for the highlights. That's a lot of tons of carbide. Three hundred, so four hundred ish. Yeah, 350 titanium, 450 stainless, bunch of silver, bunch of tungsten carb. All right. Well, this is a pa the power of uh, automation. All these things that take an incredibly long time to make, we already have. So I just have to hit the start button. And we're off. When, when those are crafted, I'll set up the missions for them later. Um, for now, I want to get that reactor built, I think. Let's build that reactor. So how big is it? Reactor on screen. It is one. Does it tell me the size somewhere? No. We have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine by eleven. Are the wire mill arms fast enough? Probably not, no. But I also, I don't, know, don't care too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. The bottom row has. Can we zoom? Zoom. The bottom row here, let's put it like here, where it's mo mostly out of the way, is coolers every other. Am I going to have to ramp up cryothium production? I don't know exactly how much it takes. So it's along the outside edge, coolers every other. I can build the reactor with the copy paste gadget. I don't actually have a link to the reactor planner. I have a link to the picture of the reactor planner. So if someone happens to have a reactor planner link that includes the copy paste gadget link, I would love you. But uh, I just have a picture, so I, I can't do that. Um, I was gonna, most of the layers are repeating. So once you build a layer, you can uh, just copy paste individual layers. And that was what I was going to do. All right, so these are all cells, I believe. And then it's moderators elsewhere. Does a building gadget support building in a grid? I think it does, doesn't it? That's a copy paste gadget. How does that work? Grid. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, do not place on top. Kind of impossible to see where it's going to place them, though. Neat. So then if I switch over to graphite, no, I do want you to place on top now. And I want you something like this. Ah, that's not, that's not even close to right. Undo. Oh, so it only places a three by three grid. Can I make the grid bigger? Like not more spaced out, but instead of a three by three grid, make it, I mean, this still helps, right? This lets us place nine blocks at once. Kind of hard to see where exactly they go. Did I get them all? Uh, what goes in that corner? Not that. <laughs> that? Cells? Yeah, cells go in the very corners. I'm still missing a few. I'm not sure the building gadget helped. Good morning. All right, so this layer is the same as the topmost layer. Let's scroll this now. I believe the center layers are alternating between two patterns. So, uh, what's the least obstructive to make you? Ah! Something like... You know what? We're, we're just... Uh, streaming is hard. We're just gonna, we're just gonna hide that for a second. Someone says I'm still missing some graphite. I tend to agree with you. Oh, I'm missing a lot of graphite. Oh, because the grid. Right. We're, we're just not going to use the grid feature.
I think that's it. I'm looking at this. I don't see any holes left in it. All right, let's just let's do the next layer. So the next layer has coolers in the corners, and otherwise is a full grid of of uh, cells and graphite. So coolers in the corners. And an otherwise full grid of cells and graphite. Which I presume is alternating relative to the previous one. It has graphite touching the coolers. So yes, graphite touching the coolers. Wait, graphite touching the coolers? Does that mean it's not alternating relative to the previous one? What? Graphite touch. Is it graphite on top? It is. No, it isn't. Let's interpret this. Cooler. The, the white ones are cells, right? So it's cells touching the coolers, not graphite. I have it backwards. It's cells touching the coolers. There we go. This is more more like it. We can hide the trunk borders as well. All right, and then inside these are the graphites. Lots of graphites. All right, and then the next row is literally just alternating. Can I make like a mini cell? Let's do this. Make a mini cell. Get a... Uh, I don't want to reuse that copy paste gadget because that one has my base layout on it. So copy that. Do you not like copying reactor components? Whoopsies, nice click. No, you do, okay. And then pasting, oh. I guess this isn't a mini cell yet. This is tileable. Let's try that again. Copy. Is this actively cool? It is. That looks right. And then I can paste you here. Something like that. Where's my offset button? Wait, how do I make this end line up? If I line it up there, it doesn't line up. So I have to line it up there. Yeah. I'm not sure this is this was faster. Screw it, we're just finishing it by hand. My brain can't handle this. Hello, Melanie. Also, I ran out of cells, apparently. Now, once we finish this, the rows, like entire layers, follow the pattern. So we can copy-paste entire layers at once. That will be worth the trouble. Cool, so now we break out the copy paste gadget. Copy mode, I wanna copy from you 
you didn't copy the tile empty. So I guess you don't copy the active coolers. I'm okay with that. And if we paste you here, that'll paste everything but the active coolers. We need more graphites. Do I have missing cells? Let's double check. Oh, I do. Let's fill in the missing bits before we copy paste. Good call. Trying to find what's missing after copy pasting it would be awful. All right, sanity check. Nothing's missing, right? At least nothing's missing on this layer. I buy it. Uh, let's set you back to copy mode. Do you recopy? Okay, yeah, the numbers went up, which is what I want. Whoopsies. It's right click one corner, shift right click the other corner. 99.95. Is that what we expect? Let, let's think about this. The entire thing has, it has less moderators than coolers because some of the corners have coolers. In, or it has less moderators than cells because this would be a moderator. So it has less moderators than cells. That is true. And it is 11 by 9. So 99 per, per layer times 2. So we should be... 99 per layer times 2, but we're missing 4 tile entities, so that is the right number. It passes the sanity check. Second of all, I have all the blocks in my inventory. Good. How many times does this repeat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the entire pattern repeats 6 times, so that's 2. Just fill our inventory. Ah, that's all we're getting into there for now. Three, four, five. We didn't completely run out of either, right? Good. And six. All right, let's then go back and fill in all the active coolers. thing is huge by the way I kind of knew it would be big I didn't quite envision it being this big all right there we go and then we have to copy the bottom layer but since the bottom layer is made almost entirely of coolers I don't think we're going to get very good copy behavior here Actually, let's start on this corner. That, I guess it's not made entirely of coolers. It is made largely of coolers. One block too high. You might, yeah, we're going to need more thermal centrifuge. Wait. That's not right. Uh... What blocks do I have left? I think I need one more layer. Hold on. We need one more layer that starts with cells in the corner. We have cells in the corner. What do I have on my copy-paste gadget right now? The second to top layer has cells in the corner. Oh, the top layer has... The top layer is not a copy of the bottom layer. I see. The top layer has coolers in the corner. Take a look at that. So it's coolers in the corner and then every other. And it otherwise maintains a grid pattern.
And if all goes well, we should not have leftover components. Building a, a nuclear reactor is like building something with Legos. If you have leftover components, odds are you forgot something. These don't ship with spare parts. All right, no leftovers there. That's a good sign. And hopefully no leftovers on these either. I think we might have leftover casings. No leftovers for that. Very good. All right, now let's put the ports on. Here, we don't, we don't need you anymore. Thank you for your service. Reactor plan. Uh, what were they called? They're not ports, they're buffers. Oh, I didn't bake the buffers. We need one buffer per active cooler. So we need 60 buffers. Looks good to me. Fire. Um, I guess we can put the everything else on then. We'll put the controller on, I guess we'll put the controller on this side for this one. Buffers. Uh, let's craft those while our buffers craft. Because these, I'm still handcrafting the extreme crafting stuff. Let's see, exclude that. So starting here, all of that is for a bunch of lasers. Hey, look, we completed a quest. And then all of this is for little robots. Hey, look, we completed another quest. All right, all our little robots are made. Now for the casings, oh boy. So let's do the easy bits first. Casings basically cover everything that is not an active cooler, right? So if we do this, we should just be able to builder's wand. To the top. And then builder's wand. To the bottom until I run out of casings. And then we'll have to fill in the gaps. And the gaps are where the fun part comes from. And then we have to run the fluid conduits. Man, this is there's a lot of steps to building a nuclear reactor. I thought nuclear power is supposed to be easy or something. This shows up on your doorstep. Pay some French engineers, get nuclear power. What coolant am I going to use? We will be using cryothium to cool this reactor. And our cryothium will come from deep mob learning. This thing is massive. Yes, yes it is. All right, are my uh, buffers done yet? Almost, 58, uh, 60. Does anyone happen to know off the top of their head how many thermal data models and maybe even how many witch data models this takes? Let's put all the ports on the sides. So I guess the top and bottom can just be clean. If you put the ports like this, the top and bottom layer don't need to have any. Which kind of makes plugging it in a little bit easier. Around five, maybe. 
There's a lot of confidence there. More than one witch. All right, we should get started on those pretty soon. I have like six thermals, I think, right now, but I only have one witch. So I, I'm pretty sure we're going to need more witches. And fill in the gaps. Oopsies. Don't need a tumor on our reactor. All right, and then for these, these coolers are already serviced, right? Each cooler only needs to touch one buffer. I mean, there's no harm necessarily in giving them more, but they only need one. So I guess this, these two sides only need to power these coolers. Um, yeah, and then we can cover this up. Do you have a scale and duct to check if they are witches? What is, what is the, uh, the accepted methodology, the scientifically accepted methodology for determining if something, someone is a witch? Let's see, on all the coolers. I accept nothing but the most stringent of scientific inquiry. How many power output ports? <laughs> you ask a good question. What is my best conduit? My best conduit right now is... I'm using Signalum. So we get 500,000. This thing makes... I need you back. How much energy do you make? 22 and a half million. Thinking emoji. <laughs> Wait, is it, am I, am I off by a digit? Is it 2 point, it's 2.2 .2 million, right? Not 22 million. 2.256 million, yeah. Ah, darn off by 10 errors. All right, so, oh, th then we only need to connect in like five places. That's fine. Um, How much do you contribute to... What is your I.O. limit? Five million? So you, we can just use like a couple conduit banks to offer connection points. Yeah, we'll, we'll use conduits as basically as a very fancy energy conduit. It is a fair bit of power, but we do have to remember that some of the power it makes will be spent uh, fueling it. So yes, it is not it is not all output. Some of it is input. I hope there's four on the top side. Perfect. Another case of having no spare parts. I think that's all closed up. Are you happy? You are happy. Whew. Okay, next step to fuel it. So one thing to consider is how maybe let's expand our DML first. Um, how many do I have to a row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And what was the limit of how many I could run off a EV chemical reactor? Discord, help me. 
It's pinned in the Omni Factory channel. EV lets me run 92. Okay, so we're good. So, simulation chamber times 26. We already have one, so 25. Do I need more Enderman data models? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twelve. Each one powers seven point two, including self. So no, I don't need more. 12 powers, 12 times 7.2, 72 plus, basically 12 powers all of the simulation chambers I can have. Admittedly, we probably want some excess ender pearls for other things, but we do not need extra um, simulation chambers. All right, what I do need is item conduits and data models so we definitely want some let's just you know what let's just make 26 of these we need at least a few witches what why do i have glass bottles laying around uh all right this is gonna take it a hot minute to craft right because it has to make all these carbon meshes and it's making them one by one in an alloy smelter i'm gonna go use the restroom real quick I will be right back, and then hopefully by then, our uh, our crafting will be done. So be right back. Good news, I'm back. Bad news, this crafty takes a long time. A really long time. Um, maybe while we wait for that, let's set up the production line for cryotheum. So I think this thing probably uses enough cryotheum that I don't want to just split the load with, uh, like I don't want to put that load onto this cryotheum maker. Right, because this thing makes cryotheum, but I mean, okay, let's quick, let's see how fast well, you have all your buffers filled up. How fast is this thing at making cryotheum? It's based on... The macerator, I guess, is the only... I mean, that's really the only step that's done in a machine. This macerator, so it's 16 EU per tick. That sucks. Um... There's no reason we can't just upgrade this single macerator to HV. And then we can run this one at uh, 
Yeah, there's literally only one step involved here. Okay, never mind. We can we can totally run this at HV. Um, our snowball production might be slow. Why are we making snowballs? This thing? How long does it take you to make a piece of snow? Yeah, let's swap this out for a faster snowball producer. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just piggyback off this system instead of building a dedicated one. So, glacial precipitator. We're named for a machine. But this thing makes snowballs way, way, way faster. You know the gear yet? You do. Nice. Are you, are you also going to be bottlenecked on the alloy smelter? No, you're not. Very good. Make it signalum. Uh, I need a CU. What voltage is it? It's on my HV line, right? So I need a HV CEU. I mean, we don't have to. What, what's the alternative? The alternative is running a piece of conduit all the way along whatever here. Yeah, no, we're just going to use a CEU. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> C, so the CEU is the opposite of a CEF. It converts break tech energy into RF. Um, a four slot CEU is sufficient here. Uh, recipe slot. All right, give me an HVCEU. It didn't use the circuit I put here because I think I had already crafted the other ones, so I just grabbed the pre-existing one instead of making more, which is totally fine by me. Made the conversion kit. I need these augments. I don't think it takes more than four, right? And a CU. All right. So, we're going to need, I need to sneeze, hold on. Oh, that was a monstrous sneeze. Shame you guys didn't get to hear it. All right. Um, so, this is going to end up going here, which means I want to configure you to push. I want to copy this conduit setting. Is that the right way to put it? I think so. See you to that. Fluid input the bottom. Make snow, not snowballs. Upgrade. Upgrade some more. We. And paste that setting. It appears we're not getting water fast enough. Easy enough to fix again. Give me some of these. And I guess we get rid of this tumor on our base. Goodbye, base tumor. You will be missed. Uh, if I just put you here, are you fast enough? Between the auto output and the auto input? Yeah, you are fast enough. Perfect. Perfect. 
does a big reactor support any fuels other than TBU? You can put other fuels in there, but you'll have to rely on the safety loop to shut the reactor off. It will not be heat negative on other fuels. All right, just to make sure if I take that out, it fills back up. Good. Um, cool. So then next thing we want to do is upgrade you to a higher tier macerator. You are currently HV. Why do I just have four IV macerators sitting around? Give me an EV one, though. We can just plug the EV one directly into the uh, HV line here. I mean, I guess technically with enough CEFs, with eight CEFs powering the line, we could power. We could plug in the IV macerator as well. But come on, do your thing. Cut the things. So slow. So slow. It's not that slow. I'm just so impatient. This one, right? You replace with that. I have one of these spares. Is it because you don't take it? An acceptable reason. You know, this base order is slower than I thought it would be. I kind of thought this process... Here, how long does this take? So it's 10 seconds at LV, 5 seconds at HV, 2 and a half at... Wait, 10 at LV, 5 at MV. Let's convert that to ticks. 100 ticks at MV, 50 ticks at HV, upgrade base plus energy. Okay, let's encode that. I might need to make more grid power as well. I think they, they use about four. Well, I have 74, of which I'm not using much of it. So I don't think we need to add that dragon egg mill yet. We have some upgrade bases, so I want you. Speed upgrade. We'll put it in the HV alloy smelter. Did it stop? What is it? The stream or something else? The stream should be fine, but if a process has stopped, I would not be surprised because I probably broke it. I have a tendency to break things. Um, while we're over here, luminescence gets put back here. And be gone, Tower of Doom. Thank you for reminding me to do the thing. If the stream stopped for a second, it might have been online. I don't know. If so, apologies. Based on the fact that everyone had it, it was either me or YouTube. And you know what? I'm down to blame YouTube. Let's blame YouTube. Because clearly it can't possibly be my fault. Alright, put them speed upgrades in here. And now how fast are you? Yeah, that's plenty fast. That is, as, as long as that crafter is faster than the pulverizer. All right, now as for melting it, so I, I was melting it here in a HV fluid extractor. Um, how fast are you at melting? So it's a LV recipe, but it gets the good overclocking behavior. So let's let's break out the calculator. If we assume that each cooler uses one millibucket per tick of coolant, which I believe we determined that is that is not true, each cooler uses slightly less than that, at least as we observed in this reactor. But but say that each cooler uses a millibucket a tick. We have 60 coolers, so we have to be able to melt one piece. Wait, do we have to melt one piece of cryothium every four ticks?
That's not good. That's a lot of cryothium melting. One per four ticks. So at LV, we get one per 40 ticks. Divide by 2.8 means that at M MV, it's 14 ticks. And it's five ticks at H, so we need an EV fluid extractor. All right, I can deal with that. Let's extend our cable over to it. Um, let's make sure this chunk I'm about to extend my cable into is loaded. And we'll go to... Oopsies. Yeah. Cable be gone. Cable come to me. All right. Fluid extractor. EV, perfect. So we just determined an EV one is fast enough. I need a interface to supply it. So let's run our ME conduit over there as well. ME conduit, good, plenty. All right, fluid extractor. Int um, sure, we'll put this here. Hide cryothium. Good night, Doc Eve. Hopefully, our reactor is up and running and not melting by the time we see you again. Uh, this needs a CEF. We have here four slot. EV will do. Like that. Is that the right way? Yep, you're powered. Eight stacks per second. We should not be melting eight stacks per second, but if we end up melting eight stacks per second, we're in trouble. All right, so this takes two ticks per operation, which I guess is fine by me. I mean, you can melt as fast as you want to melt. Um, Let's break out the laser fluid relays, shall we, for this? These are just... Make energy relays. Pull request for only show empty interfaces is in. Nice. I mean, isn't that just... Oh, I guess show only empty is different from don't show full. Fair. I like it. All right. Give me the laser beam. Thank you. So you will give fluid to all of these. What's my favorite mod? If we're only picking one, Ender IO. Sorry to all the mods that are not Ender IO. But I love it. Ender IO. Conduits. Glorious. Oopsies. And uh, I mean, it has some other systems too. But mostly it has conduits. <laughs> I would sooner give up applied energistics than I would give up item conduits. And energy conduits.
Now you point out that I am I am praising conduits as I'm placing a non-conduit form of transportation. Other things have their place too. Um you know, fluid conduit or fluid lasers have their place. Item conduit or fluid conduits have their place. This is just a case where the the laser is easier to set up than the conduit. I need the wrench and I need a compass. I don't have to bother switching all of these out of both directions because uh, both directions is both directions count as input only unless you have it configured or unless your source inventory pushes. But since our source inventory, the uh, the buffer does not push. It does not push to to these things. It only pushes to um coolers that it's touching we don't have to worry about the uh about it being on both directions which means i don't have to reconfigure all of these am i not allowed to make loops apparently not but how do we make this look good dang it symmetry why there's nowhere I can connect that to to keep it symmetrical. Well, symmetry be damned. Who needs symmetry anyways? Ugh, you know, maybe this wasn't easier to configure than conduits. Conduits, I could have just left it all on the green channel and placed them. I forgot how tedious linking lasers is. Because you have to shift right click one and then right click the next. I wish it had a mode where after you link one, it automatically grabs the one you just linked as the source for the next one. Like a quick link mode. Where if you just like shift right click and then right click again, it just links instead of uh, selecting it. Do I use brown switches in my keyboard? I do. This clacky sound, or these are my browns. I had a blue, uh, it's around somewhere, but it was a little bit loud for the recording, so, uh, so I got myself a brown. All right, um, and then I just have to connect to the back side of it, right? Yeah, this isn't connected anywhere yet. So I think I'm allowed to connect this one. But if I connect this one as well, it won't let me because that forms a loop. Correct. No loops allowed. All right. Um, you need to be only out and we connect you. I guess we'll connect that to there. And that should start filling these up with cryothium. Very good. And I think it default round robins. Yep. The default round robins. So all of our things should now have some flu fluid in them. Let's, uh, I'm actually a little surprised. Doesn't the buffer fill the cooler next to it? Here, if I break this, I should be able to see. Oh, the cooler only holds a bucket, I see. Okay, because the cooler's internal buffer is extremely small, um, I guess it was instant based. There's 60 coolers in there, right? And this thing holds 64 uh, pieces of cryothium or 64 buckets of it. 
that's some trippy flashy going on. Uh, it, it was able to instantly fill the internal buffers of the coolers. Whereas the buffer, the buffers hold a bigger, well, buffer. The buffers have buffers, so to speak. Um, all right, I think we're ready for the uh, sanity check moment. Turn it on briefly and see if it melts down. So, heat is negative. That's a good number to see. Energy production. I'll grab power off of this thing in a second. Let's just get a lever to turn it on. Energy is going up. Heat is not. Very good. And... Uh, are these buffers going up or down? I guess is what I'm curious about. Well, they're going up because our melter is very fast. All right, I'm going to wait for We're going to wait for this thing to fill up all of these buffers just so that we can gauge the approximate rate of energy consumption. During this time, then, let's set up a way to actually take power off of this thing. So um, we're going to need at least some ports. I just make a lot, even though we're not going to need all 10. Something in that recipe used wrenches, and that was meh. I, I, we are going to set up all the redstone control for it. I'm just one step at a time. We'll get there in a bit. All right, so um, first off, I want to make the capacitor mix. So vibrant Capacitor bank. Oh, uh, I guess this recipe makes it from these. And do you know how to make these intermediate tier capacitors yet? You do not. You know Vibrant Crystal? You do not. Well, you only use one per, so that's fine. Do you need any kind of energy buffer? We'll be using these capacitor banks to do that. Uh, where are my slots? Here they are. All right, so if I just, let's just make 10 of them. Why not, right? Do it because we can. Um, give me a fission reactor port. This will be our energy output. It can technically go anywhere. Well, anywhere we have a casing. Yeah, let's, let's put it on this side. This is a fine place for it to be. And capacitor banks. Why are you not done yet? Plate machine. Plate me faster. We are so slow. I should make faster plate machines. Do the buffers have to be on top of the coolers? No, as long as the buffers are touching the coolers, they will feed their fluid into the cooler. You can place your ports anywhere on the... Oh yeah, you can go on the bottom too. Oh, there is... That, that is perfectly functional. Um, But what I want to do is set this up something like... that, I guess? We'll make this a power bar. So this can trans- wait. 250k a tick? I thought these were- was I lied to? Oh, 5 million is their capacity, not per tick. So I need- if I want this to be able to transport 2.5 million, or 2. Point whatever million, I need a hundred of them. And that's going to require me to automate Vibrant Crystals. Alright, is there anything else in here that makes me not want to do it this way? Nah? This is functional. Um, let's set up our 
simulation chambers first because they have to level up the models and that takes a little bit of time. Might be easier to upgrade to Enderium conduits. I uh, what I'll just do is um uh, I have a couple plans. We'll probably just connect directly to the port and cut out the uh cut out the energy capacitor buffer. Do I have enough Enderman models? I do. Um we can Quickly check. I just want to make sure I have spare Enderman thermal or Enderman pristines. Yeah, we have spare Enderman pristines too. Um, it, it means that we're not loading it to 100% already. Even between our use of Ender Pearls elsewhere and Ender Pearls as part of to feed this. Uh, all right. So copy the tops. Did I miss one here? No, those are all brown. Copy the bottoms. Thank you, copy paste gadget tool thingy. And put our data models in. So we need at least some which one, two, three, four, five. Let's go up to six total witch models. And then thermal. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go up to 12 thermal bottles, and this that, that has to be enough, right? Are there any other models I should start now just to build up for the future? Dragon? Let's start a dragon. What does dragon even get us? Dragon's breath? Sure. Oh, I have to plug these in. Check the count of SMD. Cap what do I need SMD capacitors for? Is one dragon sim enough for draconium? Or should I start up more than one dragon right now? I mean, I know post tank we need a lot of dragon for, but pre tank, one is not enough. All right, let's let's kick off a few more dragons then. We've been working in sixes today, so let's keep working in sixes. One, two, three, four, five to go with the one we've already made. Let's see, where do we leave off here? Anything else? We've already have one wither. Wait, no, we don't. We don't have one wither yet. Do we? Do we need wither, or do I? I have wither skeleton. I do not have wither. Yeah. What does wither make? Wither realm data is used for osmeridium. Okay. Let's let's get a wither started. Uh, 
How much of this do we need? We basically don't need drops of evil. Wither bones we don't need in huge quantity until post tank, right? For this stuff. Oh, even then we might not need it in huge quantity. We need it in some quantity. Unless this is also... Yeah, we don't need it in huge... We just need some. Do we need Wither Bones pre-tank for much? It's just this. And this is... I mean, we don't need the armors. So we just need a few for Infinity Candle. So we don't need much pre-tank at all. Pre-tank, we just need it for Realm Data for micro minor missions. And even then we don't need a lot. Okay, so just one will do. And that completes the quest. I'll grab quest rewards later. Okay, so that'll make our stuff. Um, Some of these, I need to wait until they give me a pristine to add them to the wall. There's our dragon pristine. I guess it's only dragon and wither, right? Because everything else is already on the drawers. So let's uh, let's wait for well when that wither one makes a pristine, we'll add it to there. All right. So this capacitor bank solution not going to work out. Instead, I'm going to fill the capacitors to full. I think. Just so we have actually fully charged capacitors. Because if we're going to have to... Oh, come on. French. If we're going to have to store capacitors, we may as well store either full or empty charged ones. Not almost full, almost empty ones. And now they still don't stack because I think one of them I shift right clicked. Screw it. Capacitor bank aisle is per side. It's... It scales the entire block based on the side, based on per side. But even then, we'd have to. We need like fifty-ish to have enough. What I'm just going to instead do is I'm going to remove that port, put the casing back, and then I think I'm just going to run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and run an energy conduit up along that. And then don't connect to those. Apparently I put energy into the buffers. Oh well. And for now, because I don't have distinct production and consumption size of my network, I can just do that. So now, energy produced here can service main energy net demand. Cool. So, how do I wish to safety loop this? I think what we're going to do is get a tank. A quantum tank's probably a bit much, right? Oh, you are now... Ah, you, you went through all 2,000 cryothium we had banked, but you managed to fill up all of their internal buffers with it. So now we're just getting new cryothium as it's crafted. You know what? Let's come over here real quick. There's a couple things I want to check. First of all, all of these that are configured, let's put a um, storage monitor in front of them, just so I can see at a glance what it's configured for. That is not the right way to place those. I guess they have to go on this side. I kind of built this such that it's kind of impossible to put this storage monitor anywhere, huh? Easy. The goal is to make it easy to see. And this is very easy to see. I don't know what the problem is.
but we can just configure the storage monitor to match the level emitter, so. This one is for copper ingot. And then we just have to tilt our head in weird and strange angles to see what it's, sees, what it's showing us. No, give, give me that back. Um, blaze rod, sulfur dust. Blaze rod, sulfur dust. I could make a wall of them by my terminals, but the main thing I, I like using this for is to see at a glance what I have my thresholds set to on my level emitters. Um, although in some cases like this where you get a, the item as a byproduct, it doesn't actually tell you. But it, I like. I think this is easier to associate. How do I describe it? I have an easier time associating the item with where it's produced so yeah this works we can move the center row of conduits underneath yeah we could or i could try to look through the conduits magma tin uh ingot i believe Silver, pearl. I might be at the point where my ender pearl. How, what what is the ratio of loot fabricators to um to simulation chambers? It's like 20 to 1, right? One loot fabricator can service 20 simulation chambers. The fact that this loot fabricator is not running at 100% uptime, I think means that we're still okay, but it's running at like 80% uptime. So we, we, are, we are loading our loot fabricator pretty heavily. We just have to be careful. If we have to add much more, we have to add another sim chamber. All right, so we have coal. A blank one, apparently. I, I appear to have skipped one. There's an invisible facade? Can I make my wires invisible? Wait, but I ha- oh no, I, I guess I don't have to click through it, like, ever. Carl asks, what do I think of Attack on Titan Season 4? I had no clue what was going to happen, and this season has- wait. Okay, no, that one's just empty. Okay, this one's gold. You know, I can just do this. This is easier. But yeah, I- like, the action scenes? Beautiful. I had no clue what to expect, so I can't really say my expectations were blown away, but uh, it is- I, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. All right, let's put extraction speed upgrades in some of these. The ones that make a lot of items at a time might need extraction speed upgrades. So what is the invisible... F what is the invisible... F what, what do we paint it as? Oh, transparent conduit facade? Is that all it is? I'll have to look into that. Iron. Basals. Blitz and blaze. Or blitz and blizz. Why are you sideways? No, you're not sideways. You're good. Alright, uh, this was a number I wanted to bump up. What is it right now? 5,000? You are now 20,000. Obsidian dust. Uh, 
that and saltpeter and a couple more blanks all right good enough um which of the let's see anything that makes a lot of items at one time we might want extraction upgrades in the item conduit like i think this if it's producing items full speed can produce items faster than a basic item conduit can extract in fact let's just oh wait no our item conduit's not extracting right now we can test it by bumping you up in fact we should bump you up bump you to fifty thousand. And okay, yeah, right now it's emptying the buffer, which is what we want to see. Uh, we'll bump you to 10,000, I guess. Anything that only makes eight per operation, I'm not worried about. Coal will definitely need some upgrades. Pearls are fine, fine magma i think we we have, we have to make a lot of lava later for something they're like lava crystals right what is this used for i remember making a lot of them lava mill ah here we go wyvern cores two compressed lava crystal blocks for a wyvern core so I think this is like a bucket of lava per. So it's a bucket of lava, but you have to compress it twice. So it's 81 buckets of lava times two, 162 buckets of lava per wyvern core. No biggie. And that should do it. All right. So now you are full. I want to test something. Let's get out our mallet. Our rubber mallet. Turn you off. And let's actually get a, uh, let's do this. Put a port here so I can turn the reactor on from here. I want to estimate our rate of production or our rate of cryothium consumption. Can I share the reactor design? Yes. Let me grab that real quick. That should link to it. It uh, it's called the Ebis reactor. I'll put the name in uh in chat as well if you look if you look that up on the omni factory discord there's a bit more information about it i believe okay so if i flip this on reactor starts running fuel starts being consumed let's we'll we'll start here let me break out a timer timer for one minute let's see how much fuel it consumes you know what we can even shorten it less than that probably let's see how much cool it it consumes in 30 seconds all right so how do i start the timer and flip the switch at the same time i basically can't wait is there a self-resetting lever beautiful i don't even need a timer All right, so we will, we start at 59509. Let's write that down. 59509. We run it for 30 seconds. Uh, that's not going to deplete this buffer in 30 seconds, is it? Is this a breeder or for power? This is for power. This is a very powerful reactor. Uh, let's also make sure I'm not going to run out of fuel in these 30 seconds. Now nah, we have enough. I think each fuel pellet lasts for... Does it say? 
So it's 24 minutes base. Oh, it stopped. 24 minutes divided. It's like this thing says, right? Somewhere. Fuel pellet duration. Two seconds. All right. Fuel doesn't last a particularly long time in here. Um. Anyways, we're down to 41559. 41559. Break out the calculator. 59509 minus 41559. It used just a hair under 18 buckets in 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, convert that to ticks, times 20 is 600 ticks. 18,000 divided by 600 is 30. So each cooler uses half a millibucket per tick. I assume it has something to do with, like, there's an off by one tick somewhere. I presume it has something to do with the... Uh, Presumably the lever or something. Or maybe it takes a thing, a, a tick to wake up and smell the roses. In any event, it uses 30 millibuckets per tick, which means that each piece of cryothium melts into how much? 250, right? Each piece of cryothium lasts for eight ticks. We get one cryothium per blizz powder. And four blizz powder per pulverization step. So that means we have to pulverize one per 32 ticks or better. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Do we pulverize one blizz rod per 32 ticks? It is 200 ticks at LV, 100 ticks at MV, 50 ticks at HV, and 25 ticks at EV. So yes, we do, but just barely. Which means that if we have any other load on our cryothium, we should probably try to produce blizz rods fast, or uh, pulverize faster. In that case, let's just swap out our mace raider for an IV one. Yeah, I, I think it's probably a good idea to put in the IV Mace Raider. It's not strictly required, but it's probably a good idea. Now, do you receive enough power as is? You do. All right. Um, how much is this? This is only a half amp recipe, which means there is... If there are four CFs feeding it, wait, no, it's on HV. Let's just get another CF just to be sure. Give me another 16x HV CF. And then it can receive four times two. So yeah, it can receive 8 amps of HV, which is 2 amps of EV, which is half an amp of IV, but it only needs to run on half an amp. So that's sufficient. How can I put an IV machine on an HV line? Um, it's because a machine will accept multiple amps of input. So this IV machine... Is ne yeah, now, now it's running as fast as it'll go. This IV machine is uh, accepting 8 amps of IV power, or 8 amps of HV power, which is half an amp of IV effectively. Um, and since this, the, the recipe it's using is only a half amp recipe, right? It's a 16 EU per tick base, which means no matter how you overclock it, it's going to consume half an amp. Um, then we can run it off of eight amps of HV as opposed to half an amp of IV. And because all our wires are lossless, we get to get away with this. If our wires weren't lossless, I would need one more CEF on it to pull this off. Um, one more thing, let's put a extraction speed upgrade on it just to make sure our extraction is faster than the thing. But now this is producing blues powder fast enough. Uh, our crafter is short on redstone. 
Which one of you is providing redstone? How is there no redstone being proof? Where does my redstone come from? If it's not from one of these interfaces. It's not in there. Oh, it's probably this one? Yeah. Alright, we'll do the we'll do the usual thing. Now we have more things providing. And now you have redstone. Alright, yeah, this crafter is plenty fast. If you have enough amp, it should be fine. Correct. You can run up to two tiers higher pretty easily. Right, if you if you want to run up to two tiers higher, just give it 16 amps. Now each CF will only send two amps per machine per connection. So if you want to give it 16 amps, you need to power it off either four CFs or or off eight CFs or more than one connection point. Um, but do bear in mind that if you go over 16 amps at one connection point, you need to upgrade your wire above 16x because I believe you will burn your wires. So be careful about that. If you want to go more than two tiers up, which means more than 16, right? If you want to go three tiers up, you need 64 amps. And most wires cannot handle 64 amps. Like uh, even 16x wires, most of them are 16 or 32 amps. There are some that are 64 amp. Like here, vanadium gallium wire is 64 amp wire. So I guess technically, if you wanted to use vanadium gallium wire to power a UV machine off of 64 amps of LUV, you can do it. But um, yeah. All right, next thing to consider is our production rate of fuel. How many how many thermal centrifuges do I need to produce fuel fast enough? We need to produce one pellet of fuel per two seconds to run it at 100% load, which means we need to produce nine pellets per two seconds. I'm going to call it two seconds. I know it's a hair over two seconds. Um... So nine pellets of fuel per two seconds, about four and a half pellets of fuel. Let's just see right now, how fast are we producing fuel? We produce one pellet of fuel per 160 seconds per H per MV centrifuge. We can perhaps reasonably upgrade all of our centrifuges to HV now, but let's just see how many it will take if we use all MV. So it was four and a half per second. If we do it all at HV or all at MV, we need four and a half times this number. Is that true? If we have 160 of them, we make one per second. Oh boy. All right. So we're going to need more. Um, we need 160 times 4.4. We need 720 H or MV centrifuges. That's probably not going to happen. So let's consider overclocking it a couple of tiers. We get the good overclocking behavior because this is more than 16 EU per tick. So per tier we overclock, we get to divide 720 by 2.8. So if we do HV, we need 257. If we do IV, or if we do, hold on. It starts at MV. So if we do HV, it's 257. If we divide, if we go one more tier to IV. Yeah. We need 91. 92. 92 IV thermal centrifuges. Or EV, sorry. EV, IV, I get the, the words get mixed up in my head. We also need to process four per second of dust. Do you make four per second of dust? I mean, this is trivial to scale, right? If I have to scale this, I can do so trivially. 
so I'm not worried about that. This is a full amp recipe, so I'm going to need to upgrade to 16x CEF and 16x wires if I want to scale this. But yeah, scaling the thorium production is trivial compared to scaling the thermal centrifuge. So King says he ran three processing arrays of IV, which is 16 per. Let's times two, oops, uh, divided by 2.8. So you need 33 IV. So yeah, you need to hair over two PAs. But if you do three full PAs, that'll, uh, that'll get you there. But I think we don't have access to processing arrays yet, so I'm just going to build 92 thermal centrifuges. Of the IV, or of the EV variety. You probably won't need to run it 100% of the time. This is true, um, mostly. But I want, like for now, yes, we won't, we won't need to run it 100% of the time. But later, this will serve our, uh, this will be the baseline power supplier for a base until fusion. So I want to be able to run it at 100% uptime. Even if it's not like, yeah, for now we might not need to, but eh, we'll do it anyways. So 92. <laughs> You're going to complain because you don't have enough Nichrome. You don't have enough Nano CPU wafers. All right, let's fix those one at a time. I should have plenty of Chrome, right? Yeah. Wait, only 700. A bit less than I expected, but that's Canthal. This one's Nichrome. That'll fix that in a little bit of time. And then... Nano CPU wafer. What are you out of? You are out of the item, which is. Where am I even supplying your items from? It's the carbon fibers, but where am I even getting those from? We are inserting on brown. One of these interfaces is providing it. I mean, we can just figure out where they're being generated, I guess. Um, one of the things melts platinum. Where is my platinum melter? <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Or palladium. We have a little, is this blast furnace or is it? It is, okay. Um, do I have a free blast furnace I can just toss this into real quick? All of my blast furnaces are in use. Let's do this. We yoink you in there. Switch this, this will cook our palladium, and then switch over to cooking an ingot of, whoopsies, of uh, canthal, and then it'll, it'll stop crafting. I have a manual blast furnace, it's just slow. So, but anyways, that'll melt palladium. It's, nope, that's gears. So I swear it's somewhere around here I have my carbon fiber producer. Here, if I look for carbon dust. Nope, not that one. That's how we make carbon fibers, right? Carbon dust, autoclave, and palladium, yeah. So if we just search for inventories with carbon dust, we'll find it. That's the source of the carbon dust. Uh, 
I see particles. Wait, why are there carbon dust around here somewhere? What? In the interface. Oh, okay, here it is. Providing it to you. Yes, and you have your palladium also supplied automatically. By this. Okay, so as palladium melts, it should go in there, which means carbon fibers get produced. So that should be all it is, is like with, with this, it should be crafting again. So let's check you. You will gradually get carbon fibers as they become available. No? What does this come from anyways? Byproduct of Sheldonite? Nope, Sheldonite doesn't exist. I guess it's just a byproduct from itself. Okay, yeah, it it produces it pr palladium ore produces palladium byproduct every step of the way, which means you produce a lot of it. Um, are you done? You are cool. Which means palladium gets to jump straight to the front of the line, because that's the only part of the line that exists. Uh, it's probably worth a adding a blast furnace then. How's that? Uh, I have I haven't recorded tomorrow's uh, levitated yet, so everything you've seen in levitated is where I am currently at. I I do not have a I do not have a backlog right now. I've been a bit busy. Alright, ooh, I'm about to run out of controllers. Exactly. Too too much Warhammer for a backlog. I, Dennis, I assume you are lackeys then. We can, I've been, I've been playing uh I've been playing Total War Warhammer with a friend. And that is said friend that has been keeping me busy. What tier is this? And steel. So that's Eevee. Do I like Levitated? Yeah, it's been a fun pack. It's been I think I've been playing it a little bit wrong. In my mind, I expected it to be kind of like Volcano Block, where you just, like, batchcraft literally everything because you don't have access to Applied Energistics. Um, but that's kind of resulted in me spending a lot of time crafting and not a lot of time, like... I think I need to backtrack a little bit and... Uh, and... what's it called? Build up my infrastructure a bit more in that pack. Like, I have to make a cobble generator and some of the other basics before I can really uh, make, before I can progress at a good rate. So I think the next couple videos will be less about progression and more about infrastructure. Spoiler alert. Oh, that doesn't go there. But we'll see. I mean, again, I haven't recorded them yet, so I have no clue what I'll actually do. I have this thing for changing my mind. Input buses. Oopsie. Output buses. So palladium does not use a fluid. Configure all of these. Technically, we don't have to make them point upwards. Because we push and pull from them from the conduits anyways, but yeah. Whatever. And I need four level emitters.
One, three, four. No, nope, not there. Why are you not a real wrench? Red tech wrenches, behave like wrenches. Palladium, I guess I only have dust, so you here? Am I out of filters? I've ran out of item filters. I don't have the item filter recipe. What? Why are there no item filter recipes in my ME system? I think it's because the last time I crafted filters, I made like a stack of them and they just, they've just been sufficient to last me till now. Wait, the toggle full button worked that time. It hit all the full ones. Hold on. No, it didn't work. Never mind. I don't know what. I, I thought it worked briefly. 100 filters. Yes, you may use wrenches to craft for now. I suppose. Search up molecular assembler on top. Oh, all right. Maybe you have to search by machine name? Ah, I see. So let's see. It'll match the machine name, but not items. Okay, well that that's still useful, and in fact, that's so useful that... I'm just gonna make another interface terminal. And leave it locked on that mode. That's not what I meant to do. That's pretty great. If I put this here and it'll, yeah, it doesn't go away immediately, but. So if I get one more of these. Why don't you take so long? Inscribers, fine. Fine. We'll lock this one to molecular assembler toggle full. So this one will always just show me my molecular assembler slots. Whereas this one, I can do whatever searching in and use it as usual. Hey, we did a thing. If prototype's still here, I doubt it. But if you're still around, prototype, we figured out the bug. At least we figured out how to reproduce both the working behavior and the bug behavior. All right, can I get filters now? Recipes cannot be full, but the, wait, it goes in this one, all right. But the interfaces they are in can be full. Um, is it a bug or is it a different feature? You, you can make an argument that it is a different feature. Let's see, you are not running because of this, so let's toggle you. In fact, I don't want you to extract for a second. I need an ingot. Set this to 500 under. Actually, I, I need that ingot again. Um, what were these terminals called? Storage monitors. 
That's not where you go. I would never use the, them if they costed channels. But they don't cost channels, so we're good. All right, and then we can turn you back on. Cool. So all our palladium right now is being melted, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. It was right over here somewhere. One of these. I can't find it anymore. It's in that machine. Here we go. All right, so that melts it. Yep, this turns it into fibers. And then this out here somewhere. Turns them into wafers. All right. You are kind of glacially slow. So what was it keeping me from making my 92 EV thermal centrifuges? Nichrome and more CPU wafers. I guess if we can only make half of them for now, we make half of them for now. Did I put the red cell control things on the blast furnaces? I did. There's covers on the top sides of all of them. Um, hmm. How about instead of that first, why don't we just hook it up to our existing system? Like that. And then we can insert on, what color is this? Insert on brown, extract on blue. So that should give us new fuel, take out depleted fuel, and then let's just copy more or less this loop. So it's what, a comparator, a redstone torch, and some number of repeaters. A comparator, a torch, some number of repeaters, and I need a block for the not gate. That's not where you go. Comparator. In fact, let's just do this. I want it to run hot, or I want it to run nearly full. So, I want a dialable redstone device. Basically, I want the potentiometer, but we can't get a potentiometer. So what is the next potentiometer-like thing we get in vanilla? We get an item frame. I believe if you put an item frame, how does this work? Put an item frame on a block, put an item in the frame, and put a comparator leading off of it, That gives you, that tells you what position your item frame is in. Up to eight. And you know what? We'll start with eight. Why no potentiometer? I just don't have draconium. I know I can make it, but uh, that's a bunch of steps. So if the value is greater than eight, we put that through a not gate.
And then we... Use enough repeaters to be able to delay the signal. Back into here. Uh, I need more bricks. Wait, that has to be that. That powers this. Oh, hold on. Powering this block does not power the controller. That is not how redstone works. Powering that block... powers the controller. There we go. So this will run until it gets high, and then it shuts off. And then it'll only run in spurts. Um, and the way this is set up, it works both if we're reading energy or if we're reading heat. So if for some reason we run out of coolant um, and the heat bar goes up, then this will also shut the reactor down before we melt down. Now, if we run out of coolant, the reactor basically doesn't cool down on its own. It has like zero passive cooling ability. So really all this does is shut the reactor down uh, based on energy state. And that's fine. All right, so... Um, yeah, using the thing on the comparator to slow it down, to like in compare mode, it's much better than doing this loop to let the redstone signal manually, you know, let let the signal degrade on its own. We don't need that manual on switch anymore, and in fact, we can put that to here as a manual off switch. Right, flipping this lever will will guarantee that the reactor does not turn on. Whereas leaving it off will allow the, the reactor to run as needed. So that, that's a manual off switch. I'm not about to test the meltdown behavior, because, mostly because it's very difficult to test. I, I'd have to like empty all of these buffers, let the internal thing drain. I'm confident enough that I'm not going to test it. Boeing, uh, you, you may hire me at any point for your safety critical applications. I swear I will not result in uh, more people dying. Shit, that, that junk didn't go so well, huh? But Boeing, I'm, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll take my 300,000 a year engineering job, thanks. All right, now we have to... <laughs> I really don't want to swap out all of these thermal centrifuges, man. How much energy does the reactor produce? This one uh, maxes out at a whopping 2.25 million. You feel like they should have gated something behind Corium? Some pack did it. I forget which pack it was, but I, I intention I've intentionally melted one reactor before. Um, so now with our big reactor running, we no longer have to run this one ever, right? So to not run this one ever, because I believe the big reactor is more energy efficient than this one. Does this tell us? Is there a thing for efficiency? Efficiency, 576% versus this one being, yeah, this was almost twice as efficient, which basically means we get more energy per pellet. Uh, probably not the self-resetting lever. I'll take a standard lever, thank you very much. I think that turns this reactor off. We will, we will have to make a chain of breeder reactors at some point, but I think I'm just going to passively cool my breeder reactors. I don't think it's worth going through the trouble to... Well... If I... Yeah, like, this reactor as it is, it's barely capable of running TBU fuel. Right? I think I want, I want a different reactor design to run, um... 
to run the hotter fuels because when, when making the hotter fuels we probably will need at least some of the um highly enriched fuels and highly enriched fuels run a lot hotter than tbu like uh here let's just check so tbu tbu fuel runs at base heat 18 a tick that's multiplied by the number of fuel cells you have and by the heat multiplier which is dependent on on how much um how many reactor moderators you have inside i believe generally speaking though the higher your heat modifier the higher your efficiency is going to be but if you just want a breeder reactor you know don't use any moderators and then and then you'll be good but even um if we if we start running some of these higher tier fuels even if you avoid the highly enriched stuff like the highly enriched stuff gets into the multiple hundreds you know six seven hundred even if you avoid the highly enriched stuff even the lowly enriched stuff is you know 100 give or take 70 so yeah like this reactor design is not a good design for running things that generate a lot of heat this is basically just a tbu reactor so we'll come up with a different reactor design that's capable of running the other coolant or the well i know another reactor design that's capable of running almost maybe literally all of the lowly enriched fuels very efficiently and that is uh you literally alternate fuel cells and passive cryo i believe it's cryothium coolers react yeah adjacent to at least two reactor cells so you just do an infinite lattice of cryothium coolers and reactor cells and i believe that lets you run any fuel up to 160 heat per tick because you effectively have a one-to-one -one ratio of coolers to cells um so i think that covers all the all the lowly enriched fuels i don't think any of the lowly enriched fuels get above 160 oh boy 112 yeah the uh highly enriched stuff again is well 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 over but you just don't if you just don't run highly enriched fuels oh no here's one no no that's 52 never mind 116 that's still under 120 still under so yeah in fact that's probably what we're just going to do but i'm not going to do it now for now i want to I guess we put up as many of the thermal centrifuges as we can. So it was, what was our magic number here? 90 something, 92. But we probably can't make all 92 of them yet on account of not having, well, if we wait like another couple minutes, we'll have our nano CPUs. At which point we can make all 92. 93 the number i have is 91.8 so i'm rounding that up to 92 um and i guess we just continue the tower design how many is this anyways this is 64 right so our tower has to end up slightly taller than this but we have plenty of vertical space to go all right here we go craft these um Run those micro miners. I guess we could set up the running of those tier three micro miners. It'll take it a fair bit of time to craft all of those. So, which of these recipes do we do? We basically never do this one, right? Because there's nothing in here that you can't get elsewhere more easily. I mean, like maybe vanadium magnetite. But I seem to recall you either strictly never or almost never run this recipe. So we'll set up this one. We'll do the gem one. So that's gemstone reactors and quantum flux. So we need to encode the gemstone react or gemstone sensor. Sensor. This uses tier five. Oof. We'll use these for now. Wait, we need osmium to do this? We don't have osmium.
Osmium. Maybe we skip to do the tier 4 Micro Miner first to get Osmiridium. And then we go back and launch our tier 3s. Or, I guess let's launch the 16 we've made for this recipe first. I guess it's we do have to do at least some of them, even if it's not a lot. So let's clear these out. We'll, we'll go back and make our gem sensors later. So then it's just... We'll call it ores. Basic quantum chest for quantum flux. Sure. Um... Grab some of these and rename them. How was I naming these? TX micro miner, comma description. T3 micro miner ores. Are they both ores? No, the other one is gems. I think that description is sufficiently descriptive. So it's a micro miner. Four quantum flux and a quantum chest. Give me that. Oh, wait, we can just use this one. A lifesaver. I'm gonna have to get used to, to just opening the other interface terminal. I have years of muscle memory to overcome now. Uh, crafting that quantum chest is gonna be a while because the quantum chest crafts in this assembler. We can at least encode the recipe. I guess I can lie and do this and then just replace that with this. And we can cancel that one quantum chest. All right, so the recipe goes in here. And then we just need another one of set of these things. Uh, we can use the top side here, right? No reason not to. Anything that needs circuits though, we can't do because our circuit crafter is bottlenecked. So I guess we can't set this up yet. Because I can't craft circuits. Because if I try to craft circuits, it gets placed in queue behind our... one. There's, there's like multiple hundreds of tasks queued in that crafter right now. Um... So instead, let's work on the tier 4 micro miner. We need the tier 4 one to get osmium and iridium, which are very important resources. And right, this does need the next tier microverse projector as well. But uh, hold on. Oh, never mind. Wait. No, it's this recipe that uses the gemstone sensor. Okay. I was like, wait a second. If we need gemstone sensor to launch a thing, but this gives us osmiridium, so that means we have to make a little bit of osmium the awful way. I think there is another way to make osmium. It's it's just really really black bad bad. If we get Platinum Sludge, we can centrifuge that and get tiny piles of Osmium, and this comes from Chow, co Chow Copyright or something else, Petlandite. It, it's, it's a really, really, really bad way to, to make Osmiridium, or Osmium and Iridium. Um, so I know we need the next tier uh, microverse projector, but let's set this recipe up first. Oh, is this a 10 item recipe? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight, nine. No, it's a nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank goodness. Of course, I'm sure something here is going to use circuits. Oh, look, the first thing here already uses circuits. Do these use circuits too? Yep, everything uses circuits. Um, we can make we can make the chests. This requires IV compressors, and I literally just upgraded our compressors to the tier below IV, huh? Son of a! Why didn't I upgrade to IV? We basically can't do anything while we're waiting for that craft to go. That craft. This crap locks up a very critical part of our base, and that is the, uh, the assembler making circuits. And I can't just make another one, because making another assembler requires- oh, this recipe uses processor assembler somewhere. I'm not going to bother with passive circuits until we get- Socks. It's it's just not worth the trouble. What we can do though is have multiple assemblers making circuits so that they get service so that the requests get serviced faster. I mean this thing is still gonna take like another 30 plus minutes to make. Why don't we just like be done early today? I kind of don't want to wait for that. We can just queue up things that will take a long time and be done early today. So like... I have to launch a bunch of tier 1 and tier 2 micro miners again. Because I'm out of... Well, hold on. Let's check uh, titan... No, I didn't want to open you. Titanium. Rutile. We still... Oh, okay, never mind. We have infinite rutile. Um, but I am out of... Tungstate and Shilite. So what tier micro miner did this come off of? Tier 2. So let's just launch um, a bunch of tier 2 micro miners. 256. Can we do that? No, that's a bit much. Find red alloy wire, find electrum wire. We have to add those. We could do passive tons. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do pass. But that requires making machines. <laughs> and I can't make machines right now because my machine making is blocked. <laughs> what was the other wire? Platinum? Wire your milk. Great, you're full. Don't tell me you need... I, ca I can't do anything today. We're just dead. <laughs> we're, we're incredibly deadlocked. What's a wire I could temporarily take out of this? Wait, we already have five platinum. Micro miner. Oh, I want more than 64. 128? I can't do 128 because uh, my CPU isn't big enough. Alright, let's just do two orders of 64. Whatever. Did I order tier 1s on accident? No, those are tier 2s. Oh wait, I ordered the micro miner. I don't want the micro miner. I want the mission. Try that again. Oh, but I have to craft the micro miner by hand. Well, I guess they're not they're not getting launched today, but we will we will make the micro miner. Okay. Then I guess I am I do want the micro miner, not the mission. We'll just kick off two orders of it. They'll all end up in here. We'll have to craft them by hand and launch a mission later, which means we don't get to do our processing now. 
there's no way this will complete in less than like hours because of the circuit processing bottleneck so how about this we'll wrap up here i'll add a note in fact i'll add a note in the form of a sign on oh i can't put the sign on top of that we will put the sign here make circuits faster done all right and then next time i cannot continue doing anything because the terminal i use all the time is blocked by the thing i have to remind myself to do um for now because our reactor only runs in spurts our will uh will I, I'm pretty sure these thermal centrifuges provide enough fuel to run it in the spurts that need it needs to run in, but we don't we don't produce nearly enough fuel to run it at a hundred percent uptime. But that's okay. And then another thing we have to do is do the entire fuel pro or the entire nuclear craft fuel chain, because once we do that, then we can start running um, processing arrays, which will make my life so much easier. The luminescence thing? I think I've already fixed the luminescence thing, right? We are already... Yeah, we're, we don't have luminescence yet because it's all being made into lumium, but... The, uh... I've, I've already added luminescence back to the thing here. Let's just double check. Yep, it's here. We don't have any because it, its production is kind of slow. Um... Wait, what are you out of? You're out of sulfuric acid, oh. I guess we're out of sulfuric acid because our sulfuric acid maker is slow? Bottlenecks galore. Where are you at? Sulfuric... Here, just look for the inventory that has sulfur in it, right? No inventory has sulfur in it? What? Oh, because, yeah, I'm still making sulfuric acid in an MV machine. I would put a higher tier machine here, but that means I have to craft it. And that means it has to craft circuits. So we'll have to step that up later. But again, later. The thing is slow. Um... All of my laziness is catching up to me and causing me problems now. So we're paying the price for past Jimmy's laziness. That only seems appropriate. But yeah, that's uh, that's all for today. I'm, I'm going to have to go eat and then record Levitated. So a bit, bit shorter than usual today. But uh, thanks for dropping by, guys. Next stream will be on Wednesday. Same time, 6 Pacific. Um... And maybe we'll correct some of past Jimmy's mistakes and not make future Jimmy suffer quite as much as I had to suffer today. But uh, thanks for dropping by. We got our reactor running. Hopefully we don't come back to a big pile of corium. But anything could happen. So uh, see you next time, I guess. Let's make sure it's trunk loaded. Yeah, we're good. All right. Good night.